Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter on this uh, first Sorgonomics of the week. Thank you for joining us. Check out Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. We have a lot of things going on. Webinars. You want to learn about how a microphone works, how to podcast. We got some stuff scheduled here in the next couple months. I'd really love for you to join us on those. Or if you're in the area, we just scheduled our new Lunch and Learn for the month of, I guess, November is up next. So uh, today I want to talk about living in the future, having a great conversation after the raw wrap-up uh, blab we've been using lately uh, with Matt Carlins and Mad Mike over there. And uh, we were talking about the, uh, there's so much happening with Back to the Future. I, I get I, I, I get past it on Facebook, tagged in it, everything, because yes, I'm a Back to the Future nut, as many of us were. I even rented several times a really horrible NES game. And and looking to the future, and this was our vision of the future, and, and I never thought I'd get there because it's so far away. Also means, holy crap, I'm old. Uh, as we're hitting 2015 that we saw with our hover cars and our, our 3D jaws and our, our, our laces and our hoverboards. I said hoverboards twice. That's how important it is to me, is those hoverboards. And, uh, and and I think I think it's pretty significant to see as I see people floating stuff around over there on the uh, uh, on the uh, flaps. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Um, but I think it's important to kind of look around and maybe while that uh, blueprint didn't entirely span out, I want to remind you if you go back and watch that how uh, we had our video screens and everything, but then when the guy got fired, uh, when Michael, Michael J. Fox, uh, old Michael J. Fox got fired, he received it still via fax and paper. And I think we got some things that are a little bit more significant than that for our uh, communications. I mean, you guys think like in the 80s, something like a Twitter was just ridiculous. And, and the things that we walk around with, with our phones, our smartphones, our iPhones, our iPads, are basically tricorders. This thing can take my pulse. This thing can can tell me the weather, do all these other things. Uh, translate. Universal Translator. It's there in your phone. Skype does it now automatically, just announced this past week. We're in the future. Even, even some of the... We don't have hover cars per se, but we're solving a deeper issue by having automatic uh, driving cars that are... I'd say on the verge of becoming a reality. It, it is a reality and, and, and in testing and out there and try not to hit one if you're in California, right? And you're hearing about new companies doing it every day. We have our video games. We have virtual reality um, re-emerging as potentially becoming a, a significant factor in our in our day-to-day -day entertainment, interactivity, and education even to a point if we look at the HoloLens uh, concept coming from uh, from Microsoft. These things are happening. These holograms, these smart watches, these, these things on our wrists are doing even more than our computers may have uh, back in the time that we were watching Back to the Future. Probably has horse, more horsepower in this Pebble watch than in a uh, 286, 386 machine. I'm no mathematician, but I think that's accurate. Uh, and, and even just walking around, I was uh, kind of fascinated. So, so there's been uh, uh, I've encountered a lot of people vaping. Vaping is a thing. We've 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 surpassed uh, this idea of of uh, smoking cigarettes for. I don't even know enough about vaping to tell you what the hell it is. I just know it's not cigarettes, and it's a lot nicer to be around, and doesn't make me nauseous. Uh, as has happened with a lot of the smoking bands that I'm not used to being around it anymore. Uh, and I think that's fantastic. And that's this, this, this technology. I mean, take, take 1985U, I guess 19, when is that? 1987 u 1988U, when those movies came out. And drop them now. Drop them into now. And look at the things that we can do. It's so funny, I'm kind of sitting around all this technology uh, as we do our podcasting. Or even the fact that I'm doing podcasting. Hey, you're going to be able to get a microphone and, oh, don't worry, it's not going to be that expensive. I know it was really tough for your uh, cousin when he went and recorded his album to get in the studio and do that the right way. And he got a cassette tape of his stuff and it was so important. It was so, such a big deal. Yeah, you can just kind of boot up this program and make something similar to that in, you know, pretty easily. And it kind of holds your hand to that. I mean, that kind of thing. I would, I would just love to show an iPhone to 1985 me. I guess I was four years old, so I'd probably chew on it or something. So stick it in my mouth. Um, I think that's what I was doing when I was four years old. It was just sticking things in my mouth. I don't know. History. Uh, but anyways, 
But I think that's really significant to look at. Um, I, I, I often try to, you know, again, I'm really deep in the technology. I'm really kind of trying to uh, keep up on the trends. And I mean, it's just what I love to do. And it's what I naturally do uh, ever since video games back in the day, ever since that first 486, I've been reading the magazines again, say, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? But also just step back and say, wow, so... I, I, this new iPhone, since I have so much damn space on it, I just loaded any game that I forgot I purchased <laughs> over over how many years have I had iPhones? This is my uh, fourth. That can't be right. Fourth, fifth, fifth iPhone. I've had one each like number generation. That still can't be right. Uh, but uh, yeah, fourth, fourth. Uh, but I, I'm loading on there, and I'm always amazed when I'm loading my Doom game, right? Or I was—I I had a big session of Final Fight. Yes, Final Fight from the arcade. The one where I got the Sega CD, and I got the, the CD version of the game on Sega CD because it had the arcade-perfect graphics and sound, and it was the only way I could get that. Now it's just on my phone that I carry around, and I hardly make phone calls on. Although, strangely, now a lot of people want to make phone calls with me this week. But anyways, other than that, and even to the point where I'm sitting there playing games that uh, I'm Asphalt 8. If you haven't, it's a free game. If you're uh, on a phone that supports it, Android or I iOS, I recommend you downloading it. I've always been impressed with... I always enjoyed arcade racers, even though I'm not very good at them. Um, but again, like it looks to me like a current Xbox game. You know, uh, and maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You know, it, it's a smaller screen, but it looks fantastic. And I kind of look at it and say, why do I need to get a new system? Right. It's right here in the palm of my hand. It's nice to have it on the giant 42 inch TV. But then again, my Chromecast might be able to solve that problem for me very soon, or at least when I'm playing Angry Birds Go. I mean, that is just mind blowing. There's actually a tweet from a good friend, Justin Kanaki. Uh, go to JustinKanaki.com. Um, he's a tremendous writer. Um, and a long, long time friend. And, uh, he's, he's got some great stuff. That's really just kind of going to make you, if you wrap your head around it, it's really going to kind of think about the way you do things. Um, but he had a tweet out the other day talking about uh, paraphrasing. How crazy is this idea that we get our, our, our internet off out of the air, like literally out of thin air, right? How many things I'm hardwired down here in the studio, but majority of my day, I'm just getting internet from the air. Internet is passing through your body. When I get into this concept and I talk about how we have the internet, just, you know, it's not going directly to your phone. That signal goes everywhere. When you hit that Google.com, it's not going to the tower. It's going everywhere. Somebody out there is uh, searching sex.com and that is going through my body right now. More likely than not. Everybody around you, all those signals, if they can reach you, they're going through you. And then we have our ideas of what does this do to our bodies to have all this uh, 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 frequency noise happening. But literally, like the internet happens out of thin air. There's a box over there. It's not corded to this thing. It, it just, it's magic, man. Um, and I think it's really, uh, really cool and really, again, significant kind of look back on that kind of stuff. So take a moment, take a mindful moment, I guess you can call it, and uh, and just kind of look around and just, just uh, appreciate the technology that you deal with. Maybe you're not a big tech nut, you know, but most of you probably have a phone. If you're listening to a podcast like this, you're probably along this line. Uh, and just kind of uh, just say, wow, this is you know, is pretty significant. And uh, and kind of just appreciate where you're at with stuff. And appreciate how long ago, it wasn't very long ago we didn't have all this stuff, and yet there's kids that don't know a world without Twitter. Don't know a world where you had a command prompt. Yet don't know a world where you couldn't flip through the TV and get hundred plus channels i grew up on three so this has been your old band podcast mike sorg at basic at sorgatron on the twitter is basic sorgonomics sorgatron.com is the blog check out uh the power hour we did one i got to sit down at lunch got to sneak it in again Put the old iphone on the table thing uh with my buddy uh will dj lunchbox sawtooth willie and uh we got the 
you know, have some fun and catch up a little bit on the things going on and uh, talk about a little bit of creativity. We always get into that kind of side from there. Even talk about a little bit of Twitter strategy when it comes to some of the properties we've been working with recently. So uh, go check that out. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.